Hello everyone, Jamin here from Mainboard Data and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to classify Premier League clubs in FIFA 20 using Decision Tree Classifier. As always, don't forget to give it a like in this video if you find it useful and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Okay, before we dive into the code, let's try to understand how Decision Tree works. So Decision Tree is a supervised learning technique for both classification and regression. The main goal here is to create a model that predicts the value of target variable by learning simple decision rules infer from the input variables. Decision tree uses these criterion such as information gain, also known as IG, entropy, and Gini to make decisions. And here are some of the terms for decision trees. Internal nodes are points along the tree where the predictor space is split. So for instance, age, reputation, salary, overall, these are the internal nodes. And branches are segments of the tree that connects the nodes. So these are the branches, as you can see. And terminal nodes, also known as leaves, are the actual categories. As you can see here, all the terminal nodes, the leaves, are classified. If you see this example, the first variable it uses is players' overalls. So if it's less than 85, and in, if the player's age is less than 35, then the player is likely to be playing in one of the bottom four clubs in the Premier League. And if player's overall is above 85 and their reputation is less than 80 out of 100 and their salary is less than $5 million, then they're likely to be playing for one of the mid four clubs in the Premier League. And here are some of the pros and cons of Decision Tree. Decision Tree is simple to understand and, and easy to interpret. You can easily interpret this by plotting the tree-like plot. It only requires little data preparation, and it can handle multi-class problems easily. And some of the cons is that it can create over-complex trees that cannot generalize the data well, also known as overfitting. However, you can avoid this by pruning the tree and setting the optimal parameters, such as using research CV, which I'll show you in the code here in a bit. And it can be unstable because little variations in the data might result in a completely different tree being generated. All right, so now that we have an understanding of how decision tree works, let's jump into our code. As you guys can see here, I have already loaded the FIFA 20 data set onto my Google Colab. And let's import basic libraries. Next, let's do the data cleaning and pre-processing. Here, I am only selecting these variables. Obviously, the club is the target variable and then the remaining variables would be the predictors. Here I am replacing the null values with mean. Here I am selecting the top four, mid four, and bottom four clubs in the Premier League. And here I am mapping each club with the ranks. So there are 132 players that are playing for one of the top four clubs, 123 players that are playing for one of the bottom four clubs, and 99 players that are playing for one of the mid four clubs. And next I'm gonna do the train and test split, and I am standardizing the data. And next, let's apply the decision tree classifier to train the model. And next, let's actually evaluate our model. Here I'm using confusion matrix and accuracy score, and I'm also applying tenfold cross validation. So the single tested accuracy turned out to be 58%. And after applying the tenfold cross validation, the average accuracy turned out to be 63%. And earlier, we mentioned that one of the drawbacks for decision tree is that it can have a overfitting problem. And one of the methods to solve that issue is to optimize the parameters. And here, I'm going to apply research CV to find optimal parameters. And here, we're doing the exact same process. Train the model. And here, I am tuning the parameters using research CV. So I'm going to try to find the best parameters for these. And here you can see that these are the best parameters for this particular decision tree. And here I'm going to retrain the model using the best parameters. And it turned out to be 61%, which is... which is 2% less than the previous one. So we can conclude that for this particular data, we don't really need to use grid search CV to find optimal parameters. And here I am going to visualize our decision tree. And let me zoom out so that you guys can see a little better. 
So, the, so it looks like the first predictor it used is the third one, which is overall potential value, a player's values in euros. And looks like the purple ones are the top four clubs. And the green ones are the mid four clubs. And the orange ones are the bottom four clubs. Okay, so I hope you guys find this video useful. I'll provide you guys a link to this code in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.